Hello, welcome to day one of our 21 day challenge on becoming. Most of these videos are gonna be around five minutes. Today may go over because it's the first one. My invitation for you is to do these practices the best that you can each day at the same time. And now I get that some of us are working, some of us have kids. This challenge is designed for you to plug and play where it resonates most with your heart. Don't put pressure on yourself. Remember, 50% is showing up. I'm gonna be sharing with you a Dharma talk, a ritual, a business strategy, and an embodiment practice. You may not be able to do all four in one day. The idea is that you show up and you do the best that you can. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Today is about intention. What is your intention for saying yes to this? We must learn how to honor our time and prioritize ourselves if we want to make a bigger difference in the world. You are the ripple that makes waves. So it's who are you becoming? Because you don't even have to have a business to make an impact in someone's life. Your energy when you walk in the room is felt. The way that you hold yourself, the way that you speak, this matters more than you even know because underneath, we are all just energy. Just like the trees, just like the ocean. You are an energetic force and the practices that I share with you during the embodiment is in alignment with that exact belief that I have in hold. How can we raise your energetic frequency so that you become more confident, radiant, magnetic, wealthy and rich, rich beyond money? You become so wealthy and rich when you drink your coffee and you watch your child grow up and when you lay and watch the sunrise. Whatever it is that you're doing that you love doing, whether you're, whether you're sitting with yourself in the morning and doing a kundalini practice or meditating or journaling, that you feel rich from the experiences that you have in the present that you hold and living a life that you love. For me, the last 10 years, being a yoga teacher, I started 10 years ago, leaving the teacher training with one goal, to stay committed to my own inner growth. And that, evolved, that has evolved as be, I've become an entrepreneur, a leader, a retreat facilitator, and now a mother. The role is just getting bigger as my confidence grows, as I become more of myself. And these practices, these rituals are things that I do every single day whether it's the beginning, middle, or end of the year, whether I just had a baby or I just launched a program, I go first. I wake up every day and I dedicate to myself. I go to sleep every night and I dedicate to myself, whether that's 10 minutes or two hours. It depends on how much time I have. Your commitment to this 21 day challenge, 50% of it is you showing up. I didn't say showing up and doing everything perfectly at the same time all day long, every single day. I said 50%. You show up and you do what you can. Let that be the intention of the collective. There's over 60 of you signed up as I create this video and I know it's growing. The goal is to get to 500. So if these practices resonate with you and you know that you wanna make waves, invite a friend, invite a family member, share this on your social media outlets. You are a ripple that makes waves in the world and together I wanna make a hurricane where we become so magnetic and so strong that when you walk in the room, it's like, wow, I want what she's having. I wanna hang out with her. I wanna work with her. That's the idea, okay? So as you're ready, come into a seated position. If you need to grab a blanket, a pillow, a bolster, bring it up underneath of your sitting bones. This helps if you have tight hips. You can sit on the ground, you can sit in a chair. Your knees can be bent one ankle in front of the other or not. Take a moment. I just want you to close your eyes and move your body all around as you start to settle into your space. I'm gonna take extra time today to guide you through a seated position and then moving forward, you'll find it on your own. 
side to side, forward, back. Let your elbows relax back by your rib cage. Your palms will face down on the thighs or the knees. Point your finger and thumb come together to connect to Gyana Mudra. Close the eyes down. Soften your forehead, cheekbones, and jaw and let your tongue relax. Begin to breathe in and out of your nose and let the awareness of your breath bring you here into this moment. Today's practice is the Kapala Bhati breath. If you're pregnant on your period moon cycle, Rather than forceful exhales, you can just breathe long, deep inhales and exhale through your nose. If you have it in you, what we're going to do is take three-fourths of the breath in through the nose, and then when you exhale, it's forcing the breath out strong, like And as you do this, you push the breath out. You draw the belly button back to the spine. So it's a natural inhale. You don't even try or need to inhale. It just happens naturally. And then the exhale is forced out through the nose as you draw the belly button back to the spine. I'm gonna do a few rounds. Just listen, and if you'd like to, you can watch. Not that you can see my belly really now, but I'm gonna demonstrate, and then I'll cue you with through. You can just listen, or you can watch. Take a breath in, breath out. Gonna be like that. We're gonna work to get to 30 rounds. To start, take a breath in and out. Inhale three fours and then exhale out through the nose, belly back. Natural inhale, push the breath out, belly back, and you're just gonna be pulsating your stomach on every exhale out. Let the inhale happen naturally up to 30 or until you get dizzy and then just come back to your natural breathing. After your 30th or wherever you're at, you exhale and just come back to natural breathing. This breath is going to get you heated and hot. It taps into the stomach, which is the solar plexus, your willpower, your strength, your confidence, your connection to birth, your life to birth lives. We're going to do that again. Remember, Inhale happens naturally. The exhale goes out through the nose as the belly button comes back to the spine. All right, are you ready? Let's go. Inhale, exhale, inhale three fours. Exhale out through your nose. Inhale all the way up to the top. Hold the breath in, draw up through the Mula Bandha, Uriyanda Bandha, tuck your chin, hold the breath in. And exhale, relax. Come back to natural breathing. If this is the first time you've done this breath, don't worry, it's hard. You may just start to learn how to connect to your belly center in this breath. I can promise you in the beginning, if you've never done this breath, it is a challenging one. We're starting with this one for a reason, to activate your willpower, your ability to do hard things, to tap into your confidence, to believe you can see this challenge all the way through, that you can ride the waves of being a mother, 
a human, an entrepreneur, this is going to give you the strength you need to keep on going. Let's do it again. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, three, four, and go. Exhale out when you get to 30, inhale to the top. As you inhale, hold the breath in, draw in through the pubic bone, lift up through the vagina, the butthole, draw the belly in, tuck your chin, hold in. And then exhale out. Take a moment to feel the energy. My body is vibrating right now. I can feel the pulsations. I'm curious how you're doing. We're gonna do this one more round together. And if it feels right, good for you. You'll continue to do this for two to three more rounds after we end. So let's go. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, three, fours. And let's go, exhale. Exhale out, inhale to the top. Uddiyana Bandha, belly button in, tuck your chin, hold. Exhale out. The invitation is to do this for two or three more rounds and then afterwards to sit and feel the energy. I look forward to hearing in the Facebook group how this goes. After you do this practice, Come in, make a post, share with us how the first breath experience went, and I'll be sure to post all the benefits of this breath. I'll see you tomorrow.